YouTubers, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. This is Johnny. Um, I got uh, lots of requests to creating some troubleshooting videos. So this is uh, one I think may be helpful to someone have the same issue with a certificate. Let me show you what I'm facing right now. I'm having CPM, PSM, PVWA, and Vault has been set up. So DR Vault I turned it off, PSMP I turned it off. That's not showing green here for those two components. But the four others are fine. So let's go to my account view here. I'm going to do a remote connection using the connect button here. Connect with RDP. So it's pumped out to the destination. Okay, so RDB file generated. So here is what I'm facing. Certificate we got from my PSM server is not just a certificate. There's two ways you can just install it on your local machine, but if you have hundred machines, then this will not be good. I'm using the CA server, so I'm wondering maybe I can go back to my PSM server. Certificate storage here. It's for RDP. Um, this certificate is not trusted by anyone else. It's issued by itself. Right, it's issued by itself. So that's why. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a request, certificate request to get it signed by my CA server here. And then I'm going to install my certificate. Let's start it. First, let's take a look um, the certificate here. We're going to create in our certificate request and then send to our CA. So to do that, we usually come here and uh, create in a custom request. Certificate enrollment. Next, we're going to proceed without the enrollment policy. We're going to use in no template legacy key. Properties. We're using PSM1. Subject. You change the common name to PSM1 set test dev add it
One next finish. So manager. Remote desktop service RDS. Connecting to the RD connection broker server now. Come back again. Remote desktop services. Okay. So there's a deployment overview here. Tasks. Added deployment properties. There's a certificate. So you see we are using our own trusted self-signed certificate. We cannot select the existing certificate. We cannot choose a different certificate. Um, we save certificate on desktop, password, six. And we cannot allow it to be added to the trusted root certificate. Okay. Apply. Now we cannot see if this RD connection broker will take this service, take this certificate. Looks okay, good. Okay, good. Turn it off. Refresh here. So now We have a couple of certificates here. We have an old certificate signed by itself. We also have a new certificate signed by our CA. We already configured our RDS to use this new signed CA signed certificate. Let's try.
wrong or pbwa server it in the domain in one it's not asking us any Perfect. It's not asking us any certificate error message anymore. And we can tell from our certificate We don't have PSM1 certificates installed in our machine. There's no PSM1 certificate. It works. Okay.